today I'm going to take my brand new 2024 4th gen Toyota Tacoma and we're going to put it up against my 3rd gen 2018 Tacoma and we're going to do a drag race and we're going to see just how these two stack up. Under the hood of the brand new 4th gen Toyota Tacoma, this has a turbo 4-cylinder that makes 317 foot-pounds of torque and 278 horsepower. So we have a considerable amount of torque in the new 4th gen. So under the hood of my 3rd gen Toyota Tacoma, it has a naturally aspirated V6. This thing is making 278 horsepower and 268 foot-pounds of torque. So it's quite a bit lower on the torque here in the naturally aspirated V6. Um, but this is, this is a dinosaur now. We are no longer getting any V6s, so uh, sad to see. But hopefully the new gen is better and uh, just as reliable as this truck. So one thing I want to point out before we do the drag race is these tires. So these are not the stock tires. These are 265-75 R16s, and these are BF Goodrich KO2s, uh, and they're E-rated. So these are quite a bit heavier than the stock tires, and they're an inch taller. So that's a disadvantage for this truck, but I do have something to outweigh that. I did get the OTT tune, and that should give it about 7 more horsepower and 11 more foot-pounds of torque. So maybe they even out somewhere, I don't know. All right, round one, we are going to be just in normal mode. We're not gonna turn off traction control, no ECT mode. I'm not gonna be in sport mode. We're just gonna see how it plays out in normal mode. Okay, so brake boost, normal mode, no ECT, no traction control, just get on her. Yep, so we'll brake boost, but everything's just gonna be in normal mode, and then we'll do round two. You can use ECT mode, I'll use sport mode, and we'll both turn off traction control. Let's do it, you call it out. Are we going on three, or are we going on go? We're gonna go on go. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> Okay, in three, two, one, go. Come on, baby. Come on, third gen. Oh man, you're pulling away good. Pulling away way good. Not even close. Not even close, not even close. Got the jump on me and ever since then, I was done. Okay, so now you have an ECT button down there. You see that? Yes, push it. Push it. And then there should be a traction control button off. All right, I'm officially up I do have um, traction control off okay my traction control is off as well and I'm gonna go into sport mode and we'll see how much of a difference this makes oh uh, you killed me last time so we'll see how bad you kill me this time all right on go three two one go Seem to be even faster. Just killing me, man. It's just right off the line. It's quick. Nice work. I would say that seemed quicker in sport mode for sure. Boss, how did you feel like she ran? She's great, man. That torque right off the line is just, ugh, you can't beat that, dude. What does that have again in feet pound of torque? It's 317 pound feet of torque. You can see the difference pretty quick. So there you have it guys. The torque in the fourth gen is clearly the winner here. I mean, you can see how much faster it is in the third gen.
One thing I wanted to check before I sell my third gen Tacoma is I wanted to check the turning radius. I feel like it's not as good as in the third gen, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to put this cone here. I'll flip around halfway and then we'll bring the third gen up and we'll see how that compares. Okay, I'm going to crank the wheel. See you go all the way around here. Right there. All right, let's put this cone here. Mark it with the cone. Drop the cone. Official measurement. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is official. It's about as precise as it gets. All right, we'll pull up the third gen. All right, now I'm in the third gen. I've got it lined up to where we had the fourth gen. I'm going to crank the wheel. I already know the turning radius in this thing is awesome. Holy cow. Look at that. Hey, you're basically going to hit the cone, aren't you? Let's see. So the cone is just about past just that, on white, that line. white line. Yeah. White line. We'll move the cone so we can actually complete the turn. Wow. Several feet better. Right there. Holy smokes. Put the cone down. We could actually try to get a measurement on this as well. All right, you can see that the third gen turns way better. So we put the phone measurement app on here and it came up to three feet and five inch difference. So we knew that uh, in the fourth gen, I was just past the line here just a little bit. So we measured from here to the edge of the cone and that's where the third gen was. So that is a huge difference three feet, five inches. And part of that is due to the fact that the fourth gen is three inches wider. So the track width is a little bit wider on the fourth gen. Um, so that contributed to a lower turning radius, but man, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference. Surprising. So there you have it guys. It gets better fuel economy. It's quicker. It's more comfortable. It's bigger. It's just overall a better truck guys. Uh, but I love them both. We'll see how the reliability is going to be in the new 4th gen. Uh, because we know in the 3rd gen, I mean, the reliability is king. Uh, so hopefully it still stacks up here in the 4th gen. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.